Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yes. It's my first time here. You mm -hmm. came here when you went skiing like yeah. years ago. Yeah, but up north in Taos. Yeah, but mm -hmm. what you didn't do was hit up all of the Breaking Bad stuff. There like, wasn't Breaking Bad at that time, baby. Uh, you were Breaking Bad, oh, I'm sure. Oh, thank you, thank you, baby. This is a Heisenberg. Uh, for all the Breaking Bad fans out there, you will recognize a lot of the places we're going to hit up today and eat. Yes. Yes. So we're going to start out here at Twister's. But they used to be called in the movie or in the show, uh, uh, El, El Pollo Hermanos. Oh, no, Los Pollos Hermanos. I'm not a I'm not a big Breaking Bad fan. He is the fan, so yeah. all of the all of the stuff will be coming from him. Yes. So this was uh, Gus Fring's uh, chicken joint right here. But you know this this is it right here. So we're gonna go inside. Uh, I I heard they had some pictures and stuff. Okay. And we'll just grab some food because we have a couple more plates to hit up after this. Yes. You ready? Ready. Let's go. What do you see? Here it is, right when you walk in the door. Here we go. See, that was Los Pollos Hermanos. This was the uh, the chicken joint that was, you know, in the show. So here we go. So right here, they had a a fan art set up. You can see you could take some tours here. Some uh, some brewing stuff. So it's pretty cool. It's a little fan based wall right here and you know this this is what it looked like in the movie right there. it is yeah i'm just having a good time in here yeah. they have a little uh what do you call these things um one of those things you put your head through put your head through here let me do it real fast okay you gotta do that right yep One of the customers walked up and uh, we're kind of looking at the menu board and we don't know what to get. So he suggested the Supreme Burrito and it says a local favorite over here. So here it is. It has uh, bacon, some green chili, which uh, New Mexico is famous for, right? Yeah, I don't know. Over here? Yep. So we're yeah. We're gonna try green chili somewhere yeah. else too, but we're gonna try it here first. Yes, and it's got, the tortilla is very soft. Mm -hmm. They asked us if we want green or red and beans or no beans. So we got green, no beans. Mm -hmm. Here it is. So it is a breakfast burrito. And try it out. It has got some heat. There's definitely some green chili heat in here. It's not too much, not overbearing. It's a good kind of heat. But definitely, at least for me, I don't need any more like sauce on top. This is really good. Even though it's um it's so 12 30 in the afternoon, it's still like a like a brunch breakfast burrito. Mm -hmm. And then breakfast all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Oh, it's good. Good potatoes, the egg, they have bacon in here, and of course that green chili. And that's a good burrito. The heat is perfect on this. No, no, no extra sauce. Very loosely wrapped. Tortilla soft and nice and warm. This is good. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's a good start to our Albuquerque uh, little foodie adventure. Yeah, it is. We are now on our way to our second Breaking Bad uh, spot. Oh, with Twisters, it was really cool because the staff came up and asked if we wanted our picture with the little, the little artwork with the two holes in it. So yeah, she asked if we wanted a picture taken, but we said that we're just doing the video. At the next light, right, turn right. Right. Yeah. So. Uh, now uh, we are on the way. We're going to get there in about 23 minutes. And look at our co-pilot. He's here hanging out with us. We're coming up on the Rio Grande. Yeah, I, the last time I heard of Rio Grande, it was probably from a John Wayne movie. Yeah. So it's actually like a river? Yeah, it's a river. Yeah, it's a big one. That's a Rio Grande. Yep. I like that. It's kind of cool. We made it to our second Breaking Bad destination here. This is the house of Walter White and his family. You can recognize it. Of course, they put some uh, black black fencing around just for their privacy. But uh, quick fact, during the, the shooting, they only shot all the exterior shots of the house and the backyard. All the inside was done on the studio. So this is it, Walter White's house. So yeah, there. It's a private house, so yeah. we just got the quick video and now we're out. Yeah, we're gone.
We made it to our next eatery. Uh, it's not part of the Breaking Bad movie, but it is a iconic spot here in Albuquerque. It's called The Frontier. Yep, it's right across the street from the University of New Mexico. Yes, so it's like a college town yeah, right here. it is. But I, I don't know how long that this place has been here, but uh, I know it has some history. It does. Yeah, and it has some good, more green chili. Let's go try it out. Okay. It's pretty big here, right? Yeah, it smells delicious in here. This is like all of the store friends right off the street. Yeah, this so uh, you place your order over here and then you find a seat. So we hear this is what you have to get here at Frontier is their sweet rolls. This looks delicious, really inexpensive, like two or three dollars. And, then, and they're made fresh. Yeah, we saw the guys making they're it. They're right? making them. This and tortillas. So, so it's kind one. of it's kind of reminiscent of like a cinnamon roll. Yeah. So we're gonna try this out. Yeah. It's nice but, and warm. Yeah, that's right the now. reason why we're trying to dessert first, because it it's is hot. Really it's warm. Let's get this in this sauce right here. A lot of butter. Yep. Here we go. Perfect chew to that cinnamon roll, not heavily cinnamony. It's delicious. You know, for our desserts, we always get cinnamon. I don't know, baby. He's a cinnamon roll person. He's gonna really like this one. I'll try it out. Yeah. My turn. Let me get some of this butter, some cinnamon icing on there. That's pretty good. <laughs> You could taste it, the granular sugar and the cinnamon sprinkled on top. You're right, it's not a very heavy cinnamon flavor at all. It's just a small essence of it. What really comes through is the butter. Mm -hmm. There's this roll and the butter. Wow, this what is really good. Think? Yeah, well, you know what? If you don't like it not as sweet as cinnamon or cinnamony, you wish they kind of scaled it down a little bit, boom, this is it. This is a very good balance of, of everything. This is really good. <laughs> it really has a little bit of saltiness to it too. Got the little salty sugar cinnamon. I wonder if that's from the butter. Good. Maybe. Salted butter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, delicious. One of the items also recommended here is the adovada burrito. So looking at it, it looks like um, some carny, carny meat here with a red chili sauce on it freshly done tortilla yes just holding the tortilla you could tell it's definitely fresh and handmade here we go first thing that comes through the freshness of this tortilla is ridiculous it is so soft and it's a little bit on the thick side it's almost like a warm tortilla blanket you seen those tortilla blankets that they sell on Amazon? So it's almost like one of those things to kind of keep you warm. The meat has a great chili stewed beef flavor to it. It is not spicy. I was surprised. I was, I was expecting a lot of heat, but it is not spicy. It has a good red chili flavor with the stewed meat, and that's all it has. There's no cheese or anything else in it. It's delicious. But it's juicy. I can see you dripping. I'm dripping. Mm -hmm. Be yeah. careful, babe. So it's definitely stewed with the, whatever sauce it's, it's stewing in. Does it need anything else? No. no. This is a great grab-and-go type of burrito. Very inexpensive, too. Mm -hmm. It's really good. We got the half-ordered enchilada. You can get beef, chicken, or cheese. Plus, you can get your toppings. It's either the red sauce. We got the green chili stew since they're most popular for that. And there was something else that you can get. Oh, we're just regular green chilies as well on this perfect size i'm gonna go try that green chili stew side out we got a chicken you can see in there we got a chicken enchilada and it also came with a side of tortilla right a side, a side of tortilla and they gave us honey with it so it'd be interesting yeah try it with some honey 
This is about the size of a personal pizza. Yeah, it's really it big. is. So I know this, the green chili stew is what people come here for. So we have to try it out on top of our tortilla. Great flavor. And this this um, enchilada really melts in your mouth. The chicken, chicken, the chicken is shredded. This green chili stew, really nice. You can see the potatoes; they're very soft. I thought it was gonna be a bit more spicy. It's not spicy at all, and it's just a, a hearty stew. I can see just getting a bowl of this, With which they do sell. Mm -hmm. Mm. The green chili stew is delicious. So it is definitely not as spicy as Twisters. No, no, I thought it was going to be a bit more spicy. Maybe because I'm having it over the enchilada, it's not as spicy. But that green chili stew is delicious. Let's try this red side out. That's delicious too. They both have the same amount of heat, which is really much not that much. And this one you can see, like, taste the roasted flavor in that red chili, and it's the same red chili they use for the um, adovada burrito. Mm. Oh yeah, there's that really rich sauce. This is delicious. Give me your take on that green chili stew, man. I will. I believe this combination, we asked for half and half, it's called like a Christmas tree, or a mm. Christmas, right? So let's try it out. Get some of that potato. There we go, that's a good bite right there. That green chili stew, along, if you have some of this, to kind of wrap it and dip it into that stew, that's a whole meal right there. Not spicy, just a great, great green chili flavor. The rice, nice and fluffy. Now salad, I'll skip on, but hey, this is great. Take it out. They give us a pack of honey, so you know you have to try this tortilla with some honey. Let's get a little bit on there. Get that little drizz going. Here's my bite. Right here. Tortilla is really soft. <laughs> I love this like tortilla. Such, it looks like such a small amount when you fold yeah. that. Mm. Let me try to get that honey in there. This tortilla is just really good. This tortilla, very subtle flavor, but you can tell it's freshly done. This yeah. tortilla itself is delicious. The honey, good addition, but I don't think it needs it. The tortilla, the tortilla is really good by itself. Yeah, what's better than the honey is tear off a little piece and sop it up right yeah. there. Let's go ahead and get it in the sauce. Right there. Mm. Mm -hmm. What do you say then, baby? This is the perfect vehicle. Vehicle. This is the perfect vehicle to hold all of this goodness. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Delicious. As we're driving around, check out this mural that we uh, came upon. It's the guys plus the uh, the, well, the Winnebago RV mm -hmm. with, where they did all the cooking, which you have no idea what I'm talk talking no, about. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. But I like the right next door. It says Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yeah. So this is pretty cool. It this is. This is just right across the street from a brewery, right? Uh, the brewery. This is actually the brewery right oh, here. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, that's uh, yeah, Heisenberg and uh, Jesse Peek yeah. right there. So around here is like a little town, little yeah. pueblo. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's a lot of little stores and restaurants. Mm -hmm. Another Breaking Bad uh, place, yeah. nothing to do with the show, but mm -hmm. there's a candy lady here that sells Breaking Bad candy. Yeah, and they have a little, in their windows it says Breaking Bad Tours. So I'm wondering if she does something. We don't know, we're gonna go walk in, baby. Huh? Yeah.
From the candy lady, we got three dime bags. So <laughs> going to open this up, babe. That's so it's cute. Just, uh, just one dollar each. Uh, one dollar each, yeah. The blue candy. Very cute in that store. People yes. are so nice. Yeah, they are. Uh, well. They had the little uh, the Heisenberg and Jesse Pinkman display. They asked if we wanted to put on like the lab coats and they could take a picture of us. Mm -hmm. But that's the area that we shot the video of. Right, right. So, so you get a. Here is their business card. Mm-hmm. And. Oh wow, it's like a. That's what you got to do when you have a dime bag. That's that's what I saw on TV. I don't know, baby. I don't know. Let's try it out. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So, hold on. I'm just trying to open it because I'm holding the bag too. Okay, here you go. That's a good color too. It's like very, very pure color. Try it. Cheers, babe. Cheers, babe. Rock candy. Rock candy. Rock I haven't candy. had rock candy in ages. I know. We haven't. So. Uh, we bought an extra bag, mm -hmm. so um, we're going to give it away to one of your viewers. It, uh, it's not really a big deal. No, no. Um, yeah, just leave in the comment below and just tell us which was your favorite Breaking Bad uh, scene, I guess. He's seen it, Breaking Bad. I think yeah. he's watched it two uh, or three times. I did, right? yeah. yeah. Just, just let us know what's your favorite scene. We'll just pick one comment at random and, and send you this dime bag of uh, rock candy. <laughs> I had to stop at the local brewery here. Mm -hmm. Downshift Brewing. Yeah. So I got me a... Uh, Marble Double White. Yes, which is like a, like a hip mm -hmm. right? And I got a porter. Yeah, cheers, yeah. babe. Cheers. Oh, you just I know, mine's really good. Oh, delicious. Yeah, nice now, and cold. Now, this hits the spot. Yeah. In this warm weather out here. Mm -hmm. It's about 80 degrees. Yep, and um, yeah. we have the perfect view. Yeah, there it is right there. Nice. We have about two or three more places to go, mm -hmm. but we just want uh, to take this time and just uh, say if you like these type of content, these type of day trips that we do, uh, crazy trips for sure. Yeah, be sure to subscribe. Even if you don't subscribe, just be sure to watch. But at least if you subscribe, it tells us when we upload these videos, these crazy adventures we have. Right, have been, right. So far, what was your highlight? Anything? Uh, every Breaking Bad uh, associated place, yeah. I liked a lot. Yeah, um, yeah. everything is pretty cool. I don't even know the show, but I'm so happy that he likes it, which is good. Um, everything is all local, it's, uh, what, within a 20 miles or so, 20 or 20 miles. Yeah. Um, everything is public except for the private residents. That's right. And so, guess, uh, of course, uh, give the residents and that area respect, right? Don't make funny loud sounds or anything like that because it is private property sure people actually live there yeah exactly but everything else you can come and see um we didn't inquire about that little breaking bad tour because it was really busy in there but if you're a big breaking bad fan you can take your own tour from what we're doing or see what they have to offer who knows right it may take you to some other places that yeah. we haven't even discovered of course all the places that we visited uh the addresses will be in the video description below yeah there will be Here for our last Breaking Bad landmark is the car wash. This is where Walter White worked, he worked part time to earn extra money, right? There it is. It's kind of crazy seeing it here in person. Of course, they changed the name, but uh, this is, you know, now it's called Mr. Car Wash, but I, think, I believe it was called 181 Car Wash or something like that. Now we're going to go inside and take a peek. So we are inside the car wash. It's cool because all, all of these places around here, they all played home into the Breaking Bad since it was all filmed here in Albuquerque. Check out the vending machine. It's a Breaking Bad vending machine where you can get like Better Call Saul, uh, coffee mugs, some shirts. And what else do I have on the other side? More shirts? Yep. And mugs. Yeah. In case you're wondering, did we wash our car here? No, because we have a rental. Forget it. 
get it. We made it to the last Breaking Bad foodie spot. We did. The doghouse. Doghouse. Yeah. yeah, this is where Jesse Pinkman made some shady deals. Also, uh, Saul Goodman did, uh, did some uh, cell phone shady deals as well. It's kind of a shady deal place, but it is a legit hot dog place. And right now, you have to order from your car. They have car hops here. Yep. And uh, we're um, going to get a uh, full chili long, cheese yeah, right? full long chili cheese dog. Yes, we are. All right, so we're going to go back in the car and uh, wait for the lady. Yeah. We got our chili cheese dog. Yep, foot long. Foot long. Look at this. Let's unwrap it here. Got a lot of wrapping in it. It does. Whoop. Whoa. Whoa. It looks like it's a, a char grill, maybe? The hot dog? Oh, different type of chili. A little bit spice to it with that little thing that I have on my finger. Okay, babe. Oh, me. Okay, here we go. Here we go, doghouse. Mm -hmm. Nice toasted bun. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a close up on that. Like a split hot dog, and then they uh, put it on the flat top. It's a little bit, cr it's a little bit cr crispy because of the bun. Right. Good cheese, nice onions. They, you can get with it without onions. To the dog. A little spice. Yeah, it does have a little heat to it. It does. But in a good way. That's good. I like it. Yeah. If you want the um, the Breaking Bad hot dog experience, right here. Yeah, check, check out Dog I House. Know they didn't eat here, but that's okay. It's a good dog. Mm -hmm. We're here at Cocina Azul, mm -hmm. and they have a dessert that is highly recommended to you. Yes, it's uh, something that is a New Mexico, I believe, a New Mexico, New Mexico, New Mexico staple. It's got a sopa pia. And it is not, it looked like in pictures like a beignet, but this oh, one wow. looks like a big tortilla. It's very puffy. And normally you would get it with honey. So I have one to go here, and I have my honey here. And we're gonna go ahead and try it out. Oh, let's try it in the back of the car. Okay. It's, it's easier. Okay, this is a fried bread. It's a little bit greasy. We're gonna drizzle a little bit honey here. Right there, because I hear this is the way you eat it. Here we go. There seems to be a pattern, you know, they put the honey on tortillas and honey on this. The bread is crispy. I don't know if it's a bread, but it is crispy. In pictures, it looked like the beignet, but it's nothing like a beignet other than it being fried. Here's this little bite right here. Yes. That's good. Very huh? light and airy. I almost prefer this than a donut. Yeah, it has all the consistency of a very fluffy, light donut. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why I like this is it doesn't feel heavy, and you can control your sweetness to it. Right. Of course, it's not very New Mexico, but some Nutella would be awesome on that. Mm -hmm. Right? This is delicious. It is. It's very it's good. good. Well, we're pretty sure other bakeries might have this, but where we were, this restaurant was the closest one that yeah, had it. So right down the block. Yeah, that's where we just stopped by and cut it to go. Mm -hmm. What do we get? We got the taco burger, and they're famous for the ranchero. Is that it? Or the rancho burger? Yes. Ranchero uh, Supreme Burger. Yeah, it's got the uh, green chili mm -hmm. and uh, cheeseburger, yeah, basically. And the taco burger is uh, was recommended by one of our viewers. I was just reading our post and it was recommended by one of our viewers. We had to try it out. Yes, and this so. for sure is the last stop before we head back yes, to the airport. it is. Alrighty, Taco Burger. Don't know what to expect. What? It's in a taco. Yeah. Hard gonna... shell taco. Has lettuce. Oh, look at the inside. There's the burger. There's a burger patty inside the Taco Burger with some green sauce, so green has, chili sauce as well. It has pieces of burger patty, so it's yeah. not ground meat. No, it's actually a half of a burger patty. Wow. It's not even pieces, it's just half of a burger patty. It's gonna be interesting to me throw in all of this lettuce in here. Now this is most one of the most oddest looking tacos I have, I have yeah. ever seen. There's some cheese, it's kind of oozing from the bottom only because my taco shell cracked. Let's try this out. That's delicious. The crunch of the taco shell is delicious. The ground patty 
That's perfect. And the heat from the green chili. Also, really they good. put chili in there too. Mm -hmm. Well, it's the green chili sauce, babe. I recommend it. Thank you for recommending this. This is delicious. Only in uh, New Mexico, oh, in right? New Mexico, babe. Here we go, the Ranchero Cheeseburger. This is what they're famous for because it says they're right on your side. So here we go, let's unwrap it. Check it out. It does have some weight to it. In fact, if I have to guess, this might be the same patty that's inside the taco burger. Here we go. This is interesting. The chili does give it that nice spice. It has that little kick to it, but the patty I'm not really feeling. It, it may be the same patty, but it just tastes better in that taco shell for some reason. But it tastes um, it tastes okay. <laughs> Would I get it again? Probably not. The, the taco for sure. I would get that again. A taco burger. Yeah. That little bit that we ate, my mouth is on fire. Yeah, that burger is spicy, but it's good. Yeah, and the taco just is spicy. So that, that seems to be like the common denominator of a lot of the meals here mm -hmm. in Albuquerque or maybe the whole New Mexico. That green chili got a little bit of heat. Yeah, yeah, but it, it was more spicy in the burger. So I, it's really good green chili though. I really yeah, enjoy it. Yeah, it is. It is. And this is like a typical fast food. I think they have about three locations yeah, here in, in mm -hmm. New Mexico. Yeah. Um, do you have any shout outs? I do. Um, Mario, happy belated birthday. Norm, happy birthday. Pam Farrow, happy birthday. Ryan, happy birthday. Eric Bader, happy birthday. Lavette Aragon, turning 15. She just had a quinceanera. Yes, happy congratulations. Birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, Donna, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Joyce and Fonz in New York City. We'll be back in New York City shortly, we hope. We'll see. We're waiting right. for that weather. I know you guys are having some, some like kind of um, awful weather right now, so we have to wait for the weather to get better. Yeah, like cold. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Yvonne and Steve Jenks, happy anniversary, and Rick and Sharon, happy anniversary. All right, happy birthday, happy anniversary, mm -hmm. everybody. And of course, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Yeah. And also, uh, you know, for those that are not familiar with Breaking Bad or have not seen any of it, it it's really about like a, uh, a high school chemistry teacher that kind of uh, makes extra money by by making meth makes like the best one in the world. It's, yeah. That's why it's blue. Isn't it because someone had cancer or something? Well, yeah. Uh, the teacher, his character name is Walter White. He has cancer, so he's trying to go out with a bang. Mm -hmm. So uh, five seasons, you could catch it all on Netflix. So um, I like it. It's worth watching. Uh, it's like a crime drama, a little bit of dark comedy to it. I haven't but seen yeah. that episode. Yeah. So it's okay. Yeah. yeah, I liked it. So that was a fun trip here in Albuquerque, uh, for me especially, because I got to see all the, yeah. the the places and got to eat a lot of the food. He was totally geeking out in all these places, yeah. really geeking out. Oh yeah. I yeah. was I was really just the driver, oh, maybe. <laughs> that, that's okay, babe. That's okay. So until our next adventure, which will take us... Somewhere. Somewhere. Next week. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We'll catch you guys in the next one.